Boom! Welcome back to The Perfect Bag. My name is Clint and I'm excited today to get into another one take bag review. Today, the Chio X, C-H-I-O-X, from Alpha One Niner. Alpha One Niner is a, I would say, tactical inspired brand uh, that is most known for their backpacks, uh, such as the Evade and the Whitley. But today we're talking about their foray into crossbody bags, which is called the Chio. And we might as well go ahead and say it right off the bat. It's a purse. <laughs> All right, we got that out of the way, right? It is. And what do we call them, Merces? Although it's not just for men, it's for men and women. And it is, we've got to say, I think, the crossbody, this shape in particular of crossbody, one of the most successful bag form factors of all time. If you think about all bags that are carried currently and have been carried in the modern era, I would say this form factor of bag is the winner. This one and simple backpack probably are the winners. Uh, and so we've got to say, just in the natural selection of uh, the commerce around the world and uh, of capitalism around the world that this shape and the size, this is a nine liter bag, uh, highly successful for a reason. Things that don't have a reason to be successful flash in the pan, they're here and gone. This bag, we're tapping into something real here. All right, so you know what we do on this channel. We do one take bag reviews. What does that mean? We're gonna do a straight shot review straight through this bag. A walkthrough of the inside, the outside, all the nooks and crannies, get into all the pockets. Of course, an overhead shot of the bag. You can get up close and personal with the Chio X. And after that walkthrough, you're gonna get two things that I love about this bag. Two things mm, I think could be better. And a recommendation. Who might this be the perfect bag for? All right, let's get into this thing. So the Chio X, this particular variant is made of EPX 240, basically sailcloth, um, and it is in a denim material. And God, we might as well say this too. Kind of feels like mom jeans. So we've got we got the mom jean colorway of the man purse from Alpha One Niner, and I'm kidding, of course, because. It's actually a really, really good bag, and I have thoroughly enjoyed carrying this thing. Although, I've got to say, um, I have gotten a couple of double takes. Just have to say that. I have. It happened. Um, so, what do we have going on on the outside of the bag? Well, first off, you've got a 2-inch nylon adjustable uh, strap on this bag, and you have on the front... A small hook and loop patch comes with an Alpha One Niner hook and loop morale patch. You have a ballistic nylon uh, bottom on this bag with no attachment points. You have two stretchy elastic um, bottle pockets on the side. And I call them bottle pockets, but frankly, they're kind of anything pockets and they're pretty useful sizes. I was able to get large bottles of water into this uh, with no problem. When we do the overhead shot, I'll kind of show you how it fits in there. Um, and it looks like it would be a problem, right? Because these kind of wings at the top stick over um, the bottle pockets. But you got to remember that when you wear this, it pulls like this. And these, these wings pull up and towards you. So you don't have that issue with having the water bottle pockets covered up. I hope that makes sense because it looks like they would be covered up by these wings, but gravity does its work and you've got no issue at all because the bag actually looks like this when you're carrying it, not like this. Like this when it's sitting down, like this when you're carrying it, and I'll show you me carrying it here in a little bit. On the back of the bag, and remember, we'll get into pockets in a second, you have a cushioned, padded grab handle, holds the bag like that when you pick it up. So it is on the back of the bag rather than the top of the bag. Um, and they didn't opt to have two floppy handles on either side of the bag that come up over like this, like so many bags do. They gave one grab handle on the back. I found it to be sufficient and I was really thankful that they put it on there. 
All right, attachment point, attachment point, grab handle. That's all she wrote. None of these zippers are AquaGuard, worth calling out. All of them have a textured zipper pull. All of them have really nice zipper action. But I think it's time for uh, the overhead shot and for us to dig into this bag a little bit more. So why don't you all meet me at camera number two? Okay, here we are in camera number two. Hello, everyone. Here is the bag in question, the Chio X from Alpha One Niner. And you can see this really nice looking denim -y material, but it is EPX 240. It is sailcloth from the Challenge Company. Okay. Little hook and loop. Nothing fancy on that. Okay. So let's get into pockets. You have two pockets on the front of the bag, symmetrical pockets. They zip closed towards the middle, open towards the side. Inside the bag, inside this pocket, very cushioned material. There's nothing in there right now. Why? Because that's where I put my smartphone. Nice smartphone sized pocket. On this side, also plush and cushioned. So what have I tossed in this one? My AirPods. EDC knife, mustache comb, EDC flashlight. Very important stuff, right? Nice zippers, smooth action. Both pockets are lined with plush material. Let's go to the back now. On the back. Whoa, we got some stuff. Look at this. Red, bright red material. And then one hook and loop strip right here for an organizer also sold by Alpha One Niner, but not included with this bag. And then, and I gotta be honest, the first time I was carrying this bag, I didn't even notice these pockets because I thought they were part of the, uh, the pockets on the side, but look at this. You have really nice pocket that runs, let me show you, straight to the middle of the bag and another one over here so this whole back panel has two full pockets. And I put my tuna tin, EDC wallet or pouch right here, fits just fine. Your garage built gear or alpaca pouch will slide in here with no issue. And this is up against the side of your body, remember? And I've been tossing my keys in the other one. So really, really nice pockets. Yeah, really nice and great interior color choice. I mean, beautiful. All right, I think it's time for us to take a peek. Oh, wait, I told you I'd put a drink in this pocket for you. So let's do that. So, drop the soda in, no problem. Lots of stretchy, no issue. So really nice pockets for the beverages as well. Okay, you guys ready to do this thing? Let's do it. So nice, so satisfying. All right, so first off, look at this. It's an iPad, specifically. It's an iPad Pro 11 inch inside a Magic Keyboard, and it fits with no issues at all. It drops right into the bag. In fact, I bet, I bet we can get a laptop in this sucker. Uh, yeah. No issue at all. Also, no laptop sleeve or tech sleeve or tech device sleeve at all inside this bag. So just do know that. All right, on the back, we've got a pocket. It's a flappy pocket that dangles down. I don't know, I don't know why they did that. And then I've tossed in micro or a EDC little pocket tool, a couple of pins. Got a hat in here. I've got my gimbal in here, of course. Never without my gimbal. Never know when you want to shoot a video. I've got sunglasses and a charger. Nice. So, one, oh, look at this. You've also got down in here a little Velcro strap because I believe there is a tote organizer you can purchase as well. Um, but, Another video for another day, but you can see that how beautiful this interior is. Nice pocket, nice pocket, nice pocket. And you've also got D-ring attachment points or O-ring, I should say, these are O-rings. So little attachment points on both sides on the interior. Yeah, really nice. So one, two, three, four, 
big compartments of the main compartment here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pockets on this very useful sling. Okay, meet me back at camera number one, everybody. Wow, right? Interesting. So, this is a purse. So that's a great thing. It's not just not a bad thing, it's a great thing. Because, man, women have had this figured out for a century, two centuries? How long have we been carrying modern purses? I don't know, I'm gonna have to look it up. But there's a reason why we are carrying purses for that long, because it's like a stupid great way to carry stuff. I mean, amazing. And I've been carrying this and absolutely loving it. Now you can tighten it up if you want it to look a little bit more crossbody-ish. I wore it just like this and it was awesome and it was super comfortable. Okay, I promised, as we always do, two things that I love about this bag and two things I think could be better. The first thing I love about this bag is the organization. So smart, so smart. And just you, these pockets up here, the fact that they're lined and that they're the size that they are means that you can toss in a large phone, like your largest phone, no problem. You can toss in sunglasses, no problem. Small electronic gaming devices, no problem. Not, not like a, a switch that won't go in this pocket up here, but you know, little pocket handhelds, man. So the organization, these two pockets up front are great. These two pockets in the back, even greater. The main compartment, the storage in there just makes sense and it isn't overdone. Yeah, it's great. Even the bottle pockets are incredibly useful. So A plus for organization on the TOX from Alpha One Niner. The second thing I really love about the bag is the grab handle. Huh, how, how novel. The grab handle is perfectly positioned for picking the bag up, for carrying the bag for short lengths of time. Yeah, it's and it's very comfortable. So great grab handle, great organization, cool materials and colorways. It's a winner, it's a winner, it's a real winner. Okay, two things that I think could be better about the bag. The first thing that I think could be better about this bag is I do kind of wish that they had padded an interior sleeve. Nothing crazy, not to make this a laptop bag, but just calling out that every once in a while you throw a tablet in here, you throw you know something sensitive in here that needs a little extra padding. So there's not a ton of padding on the bottom of the bag. Um, I would have liked a little bit, just a little bit of padding so I could drop a tablet in here and not even think twice about it. That would have been cool. Uh, the second thing that I think could have been better about this bag is this pocket in particular. This one. This one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This, the bag is sticking its tongue out because it knows that's a stupid pocket. I don't like pockets that just flap around. I like pockets to be attached to the bag. Flappy pockets just feel cheap to me. And I know they're not inherently cheap, but the whole bag is so well constructed, so well made, so thoughtful. And this pocket is so in the way. So I guess it's kind of one and the same. Lose that pocket and put in a padded laptop or tablet sleeve on the back of the bag and mwah, chef's kiss. Would have been a dream come true. Love the shape. Honestly, love the shape. It's not for everybody, but I love the shape. So who is this the perfect bag for? I mean, my God, y'all, this thing is useful, like useful. Do I think this is the best looking bag I own? Absolutely not. I recognize that this is utilitarian. The actual need here and the, why, the style of wear has determined the shape of the bag. As you'll see when I wear it at the end of the video, fully loaded out. Um, it's not the best looking bag I own, but it might be one of the most useful bags that I own. So it's kind of like a tiny tote bag, which is a good thing. If it's everything that I need to carry in my everyday carry, if it's my tablet, if it's a jacket, you can put a change of clothes in here. 
If you are a man, go ask some of the women in your life or people who carry purses in your life and ask them, you know, what's the difference between carrying a really small purse and a really big purse? And I think you'll get like a really good take on that. Like a really big purse is an incredibly useful thing because of how much junk you can toss in it. You can toss your lunch in there. You can toss, you know, hats, jackets, extra equipment. You can buy some groceries and toss them in there. Yeah. Honestly, y'all, this is a great bag. I'm really, really, really glad that I bought the Chio X from Alpha One Niner. And it might be wall worthy. I'll have to think on it. You'll know if you see it up on the wall how much I really like the bag. So, y'all, this is a high recommendation from me. It's a very useful bag. I recognize the look might not be for everybody, but if you're looking for a large size crossbody that doesn't cross the line into um, a full tote, if you're looking for something that you can just stuff things into and is a no fuss bag for, you know, walking around the city, going shopping, etc., get yourself a Merce. Get yourself a Chio. This is a cool bag. All right, everybody, I hope you really, really enjoyed this review. I loved shooting it, and I love this bag. Everybody, thanks for the support, and as always, we will see you next time. Bye for now.